it's all been building the anticipation leading to this moment and we're about to get the opening face off the ducks win the opening face off and we are underway with this one the blue jackets have a hold of it in the defensive zone here they come up along the wing unable to reach that one quick feed to Goudreau and they keep the pressure on the ducks have it from their own end they fight for it along the boards Goudreau's exploring options with the puck there's the whistle let's get the call for the officials well that's going to be an interference call and it's a deserved one you can't impede the forward progress of your opponent and that's what happens here Opportunity. Champions ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Anaheim's got it in the defensive zone. And they clear that puck. And that pass attempt is deflected. And he moves it up to Goudreau. Slides the puck up from the left side. Delayed penalty coming up here. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Johnson's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Well, four-on-four -four is similar to three-on-three. -three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-ones all over. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Columbus takes hold of the puck. Feeds it over. Crisp's going to hang on for a whistle. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. The Ducks penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Passes it over to Silverberg. Takes the feet at the back end. From the point, wow. takes a shot. Scores! And the benefit of the extra attacker pays off. Now utilizing all of that space, James, to their advantage and the recognition and awareness of when to take it to the net. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. The Ducks are on the board quickly in this one, and a nice start here, the way that they've been moving the puck around. Well, a really great start for them, James. It's all about getting everyone into the game, establishing some pressure, and finding a way to get on the board. They do just that. Now they've established a 1-0 lead. It's about holding it and pushing for more now. Slides the puck over. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Too many bodies in the way. Columbus plays it along the wall. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. Anaheim's in now. Broken up by Provorov. Scrum ensues along the boards. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Puck scooped up by Brink. Shakes loose. 
Versus Lickens has it and freezes the play. Silverberg's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going. And when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Throws it in. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Slides it across. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. And he loses control of the puck. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. And they win that neutral zone draw. Quick pass to Hall. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Works it across to Enroth. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Brinks made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? The Ducks win the draw on their own end. And he handles a cross ice pass. And here's the pass to Silverberg. Moves into the slot. Oh, what a stop at the club by Merzlikens. The Blue Jackets win the defensive zone faceoff. Anaheim's got possession here in the offensive zone. And that goes off a stick. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Ducks lead it 1-0. Monaghan's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. And he takes the feed. Big time stop by Merzlikens. What a save. I mean, how quick do you have to be to be able to get on that puck, James? Anytime it's in the low slot, you got to be on your toes, and that's exactly what he was to be able to make the save. Here in the back half of this period, Anaheim's ahead, 1-0. The Ducks take possession off the faceoff. And gets a piece of it with the trapper. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Columbus gains control of the puck. Solid check to slow him down. Johnson's on the attack in the offensive zone. Great pass from the left wing. Cuts into the paint. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Merce Leakins. And that goes off a player in front. Presses it over. And look at this. They turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. And there's the whistle. A huge shot of relief for the defenders as the officials lose sight of the puck. The goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck. But they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot. And that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. The Ducks have used their advantage in shots to take the lead here in the first. Anaheim's won the faceoff. Merzlikens with an impressive highlight reel save, James, and this is exactly what his team needed. You're under siege, you're under attack. You need a timely save to settle you in and find a way to get going north. And he keeps possession. Champions moving it ahead. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. And he shut the door on that last play. Let's get the call. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one goal deficit and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Go, 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 go. 
Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Pays it up from the back end! Columbus has it near the wall. Gets it out of his own end. Pinned up along the boards. And the puck's booted away. Anaheim's looking to break out. And that pass is redirected. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. They clear the zone. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And that's a smart heads up play by Good Branson. The Blue Jackets are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Dropped him in the open ice. Here's the score! There it is on the power play! The power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. The Ducks are closing this period on a high note, now leading by two. Well, they've really taken control of this game in the first period, James. They've set the tone, and a lot of it's coming off of their shot selection. They're putting a ton of pucks to net. Anaheim's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Sends the pass over. Fantastic save! Merzlikens has created some energy for his team, making a huge stop and taking away a critical scoring chance. And now it's over to Goudreau. And he takes the feed. Look out, here they come on the attack. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James. And you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated, and they've pushed their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep bugging away here and not get complacent. That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gain that entry because they've got numerical advantage. And they capitalize and executed with it. The Ducks players have certainly come with a message tonight. And that is attack the net. They have had plenty of scoring opportunities and lead here big time nearing the end of period number one. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Poked away in the neutral zone by Severson. And he slides it quickly to Jenner. Puck moved over to Wierenski. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. And that's deflected off someone in front. And a solid stop on the play there. He's only one goal away, James, of his next milestone right here. Rips it and rips it. That goes wide. Maintains control of the puck. Here's a chance. And there's the save. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Ducks lead it here late this first period. Richards wins the face off in the offensive zone. The Blue Jackets have it against the wall. Strong defensive effort. Scooped up along the wall by Johnson. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. With possession along the wall. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. And the puck is scooped up here into the open ice by Johnson. Big stop just as time expires in the period. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. Fans, tonight our world famous blend is dropping $50 gift certificates. Keep your eyes to the sky for tonight's big prize. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh, and this second period about set to get underway. 
It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Columbus has to find a way to get their feet moving in this game. Everything starts with speed and puck retrieval. They have to find a way to own it and then do something with it, James. they got a real mountain to climb here. They're behind the eight ball as they've been getting blown out of the water. Fires it on net. Merzlikens has the puck and holds on for a whistle. Anaheim's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Whistle blown stopping the play. Give me two minute minor for boarding here. It's a real physical hit along the wall. We know that he doesn't like it. He's going to argue with the official. But nonetheless, it's going to be the call. Tied up on the draw. Takes the pass. Saucers it take to take. And a good save on the play as action continues. Chris has been able to watch the game for most of the night from the other end because of the offensive production in the offensive zone, James. But he's a real good job there. Timing is everything. Staying focused, tracking the clock, and making a good save at the right time. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Warinski. Huge steal in his own end. They gain the zone from the left side. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Power. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Silverberg. Nowhere for that shot to go through. The Blue Jackets move it ahead. Receives the pass. Scores! James, he knows how to create space for himself and just enough to get to the goaltender and finish it off. Columbus is sending a message that they're not going down without a fight after that play. And they have to have urgency all over the ice in all three zones. They have to be hard in their D zone, speed through the neutral zone. And when they get into the O zone, they have to distribute fast and quick and be deceptive on their shots. Here's a short pass to Johnson. Back at the point, they set it up. Shuts him down. And he takes the dish. Puts it on net. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Provorov swinging the puck through center ice. And he comes up with the glove save. Crisp's gonna keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. As a goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play he elects to hold on. Anaheim's got possession here in their own end. Feeds it over to Champion. Anaheim's got it along the wall. Feeds the puck across to Hall. It frees up the puck. Oh, smart heads up, Reed. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Hulls off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. The Ducks once again send out their power play unit. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the places to attack is. And that's intercepted. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes the puck behind the net. Rips it. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck under man. Moves it quickly over to Jenner. Here's a shot. The Ducks gain control of the puck. 
Jenner has been really impressive tonight, in particular on that last play, James. I mean, the wherewithal to keep your eye on the prize, eye on the puck, and just redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's attack mentality, and he has it tonight. Takes the puck at the point. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Sends it quickly to tip it. Anaheim's got the puck against the boards. Quick feed down low. Wierenski's moving the puck through his own zone. Can't keep a hold of it. The Ducks, he's got a step. Centering in front. Can't connect on the play. Gives them nothing in front. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Oh, and he cracks it perfectly in the offensive end. The Blue Jackets have been stealing pucks all game, and when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck, but they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. Richards will take the face off here as this man advantage is about to resume. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. And it's a quick pass to Johns. After that huge hit, he is just struggling to get off of the ice, James. And the body language says it all as he's all hunched over. You know that the medical staff, well, they'll meet him on the bench. He says, let's get physical on that play. Moves it up through the middle for the right. Picked up by Provorov. Paul's up and ready to get back on the ice. Off the left wing and into center. The Blue Jackets take over on possession. Columbus is back to even strength. Well, the PK does a great job. And when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. Well, that hit had to hurt, James. Let's have another look at that one. I mean, he goes down hard. And when you have a hit like that, you're feeling it all over your body. is heading down the tunnel after that head contact. I mean, he does not look good almost days, so I suspect that he's headed right to the quiet room. Yeah, and the medical staff on this one pretty quickly, Cheryl, and certainly a storyline to watch because you do not like seeing that happen to anybody. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And it's kicked away. And that'll free up the puck. Puck picked up by Darlene. Dishes it off. Nice poke check. Harris carries the puck in his own zone. Centering feed. Off the stick and they can't complete the play. Oh, he'll feel that one. Now the puck escapes the zone and they'll be forced to tag up. Handles the pass from the right wing. Puck picked up in the open ice. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Harris. Moves it to Goudreau. Columbus looks to break out in their own end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Denies him! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Big time stop there. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. The Blue Jackets gain possession along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Handles the puck. And that's poked away by Power. Columbus has it in the open ice. Great reach with the poke check. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Oh, and some smooth skating to lose the defender there. The Blue Jackets gain possession on their own end. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. What a steal on his own end. Dumps the puck in. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. Shot from the point. Blocked in traffic. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Sends a pass over. Pass to Fentilli. The Ducks gain possession. Takes it from the right side. Feeds it over. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. 
First, Lickens freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. Nash is out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game. And Scores! And look at that! They answer right back! Well, the game is a hodgepodge of counters, and this is exactly what needed to happen. They were scored on, they respond quickly, and they find themselves in a favorable spot. This goal all comes down to winning the face-off in the offensive zone, James. Everyone knows their responsibility is about making sure they get to the spots that they need to get to and get off a quick-release shot. Great goal. The Ducks are showing no signs of slowing down, and here we are in the late stages of period number two. They continue to hit down the accelerator. Yeah, and the coach must be loving this. I mean, sometimes you can't put your finger on exactly why it's working the way it is, but the chemistry is off the charts here, and they've got to come to the lead. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Tries to crease. Oh, it stays out. He's got a piece of that one. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender in task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Slides it across. And a has got a hold of it along the wall. Quick feed to Hall. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Faber. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Sends it ahead to Hall. The Blue Jackets take it along the wing. The Ducks have it now. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Fires it! And there's a block of stop by Merzlikens! And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. themselves at center ice as the third period is about to go. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Ducks have a comfortable lead here in the third period, James. They do not have to change a thing. Don't alter the game plan, just close it out. on total cruise control early in this third period. Johnson's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Takes the feed. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And that's turned aside with a glove. Moves the puck up to Johns. Knocked away by Wierenski. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. And he can't hang on after that hit. Quick pass to Michael. Let's it fly. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Picked up along the boards by Severson. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Here's a short pass to Goudreau. Jabs the puck away. Anaheim's got the puck. The Ducks are playing in their own end. Tosses it on to Tippett. Forces the turnover. The Ducks will play it against the wall. Top the foot Oh, what a save in front. He's got those magic mitts, James, and he also has patience. And when those two factors are combined, they create space. James, a quick release shot makes it difficult for the goalie to get set to position. And when you're a little late, you can get a piece of it, but it still winds up in the back of the net. Columbus has to keep their foot on the gas pedal now. They need more offense. Well, you know their opponent is going to be looking to protect the middle of the ice, get in those shooting lanes, so they're going to have to find ways to get shots through and to get net front presence. Cut grab by Proveroff. Takes the feed from the left side. Takes the 
takes a shot. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Blue Jackets are down a pair. The Ducks win the draw. Tippett's picking up momentum through center. And he hangs on to the puck. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Niskanen's got it deep in the offensive end. Silverberg's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. Columbus plays it along the boards. They put the puck into the offensive end. Takes a moment behind the net. Slides it quickly to Niskanen. And that's a great read to pick off the pass. He was totally locked in on that play. Takes the feed into the offensive zone. Columbus has possession of the puck. Slides the cross ice pass. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. The Blue Jackets have it against the wall. Puck battle along the boards. Here's a chance. How did he stop that one? No, he, he scores. He thought he had it, but it must have gone off him. It's in the net, and that's a goal. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. The Ducks continue to ring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. Pinned up along the boards. Taken along the wall by Branson. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Johnson. Into the corner of the attacking area. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. With some open space at center. And now he moves it quickly to power. A chance here. Out in front. Continue to lead here in the third, listening to their coach's message. Lots of pucks on net. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Merzlikens has it and hangs on for the whistle, and what a night he's had between the pipes. Well, another time they say, love the way he holds on to this puck. He recognizes that he doesn't want to mishandle it, just holds on, makes the safe play. And sometimes the safe one's the right one, especially when you're a tight game in the third. Grabs the puck. Steps inside the line. And a quick check knocks the puck away. Oh, he caught him! Uh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way Oh, what a chance here! In on the attack! Let's it go! Shuts the door! Wow, what a save! Pass 
the midway mark of the frame. The Ducks holding down a 5-3 lead in what has been a fun one for hockey fans to watch tonight. Johnson's won it in their own end. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Tucked away in the defensive end. The Blue Jackets pick up steam and are on the attack. Oh, stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Ducks take possession off the faceoff. Taken by Power. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck. Great foot by Yurichek. Scooped up along the wall by Johns. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Rocked on the play. Takes the feed from off the wing. Quick pass to Fentilli. Excellent stick work on the play. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? As it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Dish down over to Tippett. Tries to get the puck to Silverberg. They've got the defense outnumbered. Club save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Anaheim's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. The Ducks win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Denies him. He got all of it. Sends a pass in front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Feeds the cross ice pass to Faber. Now a quick pass to Brink. Here's a shot, and the puck dies with the trapper save. In the final moments of this period, the Ducks lead by a pair. It's 5 3. Rossi's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Slides the puck over to Rossi. On the attack along the boards. Handles the pass. Down the left wing across into the offensive end. And he keeps that one out. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. They've got the extra attack around here for the faceoff. But they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. Takes possession off the draw. Takes the shot. Turned aside with the glove. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Won the defensive zone draw. Sends it across the ice. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Dishes it to Michael. Moves it to Pedro. Just a great defensive read there. Michael stick handling in his own zone. Anna Hines moving it up the ice. Wide open scores to the empty net. Pounder, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah. The sound on the back end. I didn't have hands. So when I scored one, listen, I celebrated. I was down and out, <laughs> fist pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a, a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. Anaheim's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. The Ducks get a hold of the puck off the draw. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. 
Well, a complete team effort right from the goal all the way out to the front, and they continue to find ways to win. Listen, James, when you're winning games, it's easy to have buy-in, right? Everything's working for you, so you're trusting the process, and that's where you see the real good habits. Tonight was another product of that. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the ring.